Are you craving a burst of fresh flavor? My chimichurri sauce recipe is insanely quick and easy to make. Packed with vibrant herbs and a hint of spice, it's the perfect condiment to elevate any dish. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. Today, our celebration is all about big flavor. We're gonna get that big flavor from something called chimichurri sauce. Now, what is a chimichurri sauce? Chimichurri sauce is a sauce that has its roots in Argentina. It's made with herbs and flavor and vinegar. It's this little acidic, packed with flavor. This is a basic recipe and once you master it, you can take it in a hundred different directions. So let's get started. Chimichurri starts with parsley traditionally, and that's how we're going to start today. I have a great big bunch here, and I'm just going to take off the rough stems at the bottom. I'm going to give it just a little rough chop, stems and all, it's fine. And we're going to put it in the food processor. Just like that. To that, we're going to add some more herbs. First up is oregano. Now this is two tablespoons of fresh oregano. If you can't find fresh, you could use dried about one tablespoon, maybe a little less, because it's a little stronger. Right in. Next up, I want to give it the first beginnings of that little zing that this sauce has. I'm going to do that with a shallot. I just have one small shallot here that I just cut up a little bit. Shallot is in between garlic and an onion. It's kind of like a cross between, and they're wonderful in sauces and gravies and things. Right in. Next up, a little more spice. I'm going to do that with one jalapeno that I just took out the ribs and seeded. Now, if you want to make it spicier, you could use a different chili. You could add more jalapenos. You could even use the dried chili flakes, but I like the freshness of a jalapeno. Right in. Now, I told you that shallot was a cross between onions and garlic. And if you know me, I love my garlic. And that's what we're adding next. Just two garlic cloves. Those go right in. Now I'm just going to give this a few pulses just to chop it up and get it started. <laughs> There we go. We don't want to obliterate it, but we want to get it chopped up pretty well. Let me scrape this down, and I'll show you what I mean. So at this point, you can see there's still some chunks there, but it's, it's gotten started. Now, we're going to add some olive oil. Now, that's not traditional in Argentina from when this first started, when it was first invented, but over the years and here in America, we like to add it. I'm using just six ounces, which is 180 mils of a really good extra virgin olive oil. You want an olive oil with lots of flavor, and you're going to get that with extra virgin. Right in. Now for the acid, I'm going to get that with red wine vinegar. Just two tablespoons. And finally, of course, some salt and pepper. Now we're just going to pulse this a few more times to get it all to combine. That's looking lovely. I'm going to give it a little taste for seasoning. Tiny bit more salt. And that is our chimichurri sauce. Let's see how it looks. Look at that. 
Now you're looking at this and you're thinking that almost looks like a pesto. And you're right, except pesto has cheese and nuts and this doesn't. But it's full of texture, full of flavor. You can make this several days in advance, keep it in the fridge, let all those flavors come together. Now what would you serve this over? I like using it over anything grilled. Grilled flank steak, grilled chicken, grilled vegetables, but it's so versatile. You can serve it over just about anything, a baked potato, pasta. You could change the flavors. Maybe instead of all parsley, use parsley and basil. Try adding more garlic, changing the heat, a different type of vinegar. A hundred different ways you could take this sauce. You know, I think I want one more little taste of this sauce. Hmm. You know what else I need? I need my wine. Here we are. Hmm. And that's good too. If you like this episode, sign up for our newsletter and get the recipes in your inbox. Then help us grow the channel by hitting that subscribe button, smashing that like button, and hitting the notification bell so you'll never miss an episode. Now, I'm going to go grill some chicken for dinner and serve this over the chicken to my family. While I'm doing that, I want you to sit back and relax and watch some of these episodes over here. So until next time, everyone, cheers. <laughs>